It's been a long time since I've made a video or even made anything. What you what you want? What you what you want? So here's the thing, it's time to get back at it and get into making some stuff and creating some tutorials that you guys like. Um, been off this for way too long. Got so many new subscribers. Thank you for everybody who has uh, joined up. It's awesome. Really appreciate it. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, normally everything's Halloween, uh, but I got a commission to make a, an, an owl. I've never made an owl before, so I'm going to make one and bring you guys along for the ride. Not going to be a true step-by-step -step because this is brand new. I haven't done an owl before, and I'm just going to film it and go along and kind of tell you guys what I do as I go along. For this one, I'm going to use uh, aluminum foil instead of uh, balled up paper as my base. I think it's just going to be quicker and faster that way. And then we'll mache around the outside of it and clay it up and do all the feathers and all that stuff. I saw a new, well, it's new to me, uh, type of clay. We're going to give that a try on this one. I mean, that's the point. Experiment. Let's we'll see uh, what new things you can bring up and do. Well, let's get after this thing. use this as the base of the body it's not going to be a very big owl just something small like put on her uh, countertop or whatever I did flatten uh, the top side of this out so I can put the head on here uh, now we're just going to roll up some more aluminum foil for the head and then set that on there I think I want the head looking up we'll get that rolled and then move on to the next <clears throat> all right now we got our headpiece and we got our base. <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap these all up in masking tape and then uh, put a layer of mache on them. Okay, now we got some taped up balls. Perfect. Can you see it? Can you see it yet? Well, that's an owl. Now we got the Oh Shnikes! Wow! Alright, you guys alright? Is everybody okay? Alright. Woo, that was scary. Okay, whoa. Whew. Now that these things are taped up, uh, we're gonna do some strip mache just around them. Let them dry up and we'll let them dry up and get it all done. Then we'll put some little feet on here and some wings and some clay and yeah, let us strip mache this. Oh, first I need some uh, paper. We got some newspaper here. Let's shred it up, okay. It worked. I always wanted to do that. I've seen people do that and thought, man. That's the fast way to get stuff done. And it was fast. Just a quick tip real fast. The surface here, that's plastic. I got another piece of plastic over here. <clears throat> that way you can mache your stuff all up, set it down, let it dry, pick it up, it won't stick to it. It comes off the plastic pretty quick and easy. And let's do some mache, shall we? base of the body's done we got that wrapped in mache we still got to do the head it's just the same process a little newspaper paste rub it all over the ball wrap it i'm not gonna make you guys watch that we'll catch you on the other side okay so the boring part's done I keep looking over there like there's something behind me. 
and there's nothing there. Anyway, the boring stuff's done. We got that wrapped in mache. That part's finished up. We'll let this stuff dry, then we'll make some feet and some wings. Start putting this thing together. So now we gotta wait for this stuff to dry. All right, so these things are all dried up now. Um, before I put these things together, I wanna put um, a thin layer of paper clay over these, uh, just to smooth this out a little bit more. But I'm gonna try a different type of clay. I've seen um, it made, I have never done it before, played with it before. So we're gonna give it a try on this one. This clay is made with egg cartons or egg crates. And the gist of it is, I haven't made it before, so this is gonna be experimental, but the gist of it is, you tear this up, you put it in the bowl, you let it soak in water for 30 minutes to an hour, you get it out, you strain it out, just like the toilet paper recipes, and then from that point on, you just mix glue into it and knead it up and it turns into a clay. Got the clay made. Uh, yeah, I know I didn't show you the steps to do it. Uh, I didn't do that because I don't know how it's going to work or how it's going to turn out. So far after making it, it uh, really feels uh, pretty good, like uh, other clays I've used. So we'll play with it a little bit, and if I like it, then I'll show you how I made it. Like I said, if this was a uh, Halloween deal, I really wouldn't worry about texture being all that smooth uh, because creatures look better when they've got some different uh, texture to them but an owl is going to be different more like an egg like a big ostrich egg stick with us this will be a I promise you it's gonna be now I'm so out of my element trying to do this thing um, pumpkins and monsters are way more up my alley but uh, maybe I'll learn something so we've got what I've got for the the base and then for the head and I've looked at several other pictures for reference and things and I think maybe I could have got away gotten away with making one um, just one whole piece and not two separate uh, pieces for the head and the body but this is what I got so we're going to make it work this clay is not quite all the way dry and it's set overnight it's still uh, it still has time to cure but since we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of work on, I got an idea for the feet structures and to get a little tail going on here and wings. The little tail is going to be a piece of cardboard, so are the wings. They're going to fold out and be cardboard and I'm just going to glue those things on. <clears throat> and I'll go back and put feathers over all that stuff later. Uh, I may have to do the tail first and get some feathers moved up into here and then put back wings on because they'll kind of come over those feathers so we may do that this may just be more about doing the tail and uh, setting up the the feet kind of get that stuff going on see how we go there and uh, move on see if I can pull this thing off okay so for the tail for right now um, <clears throat> just cut a little piece of cardboard out in a, in a basic shape it's going to kind of wrap around the back like this uh, I'm going to try to wind up as we go flaring it back out in this direction a little bit but this is going to kind of serve two purposes instead of I thought about perching it all the way down where it kind of set like this but I'm not going to I'm going to have it standing up 
and the feet are going to come down and be on the ground. We're going to use the tail and the feet to give it something to stand on so you can set it anywhere and it doesn't fall over. So this is the, the beginning of the tail. And then I think what we're going to do for the feet is I got some um, barbecue skewers or some whatever, you know, kebab skewers. And since this isn't hardened up yet, I was able to take a pick, and I'll show you in a minute. And I was able to put a hole in here. So we're going to take the skewers, and I'm going to shove them up in here. I'm going to put a little wood glue on them. Let them come down. <clears throat> cut these things off. And then just to start the base of the foot so that it's flat, because I want this thing to sit down on a flat table, we'll use... I'll, cut a piece off a small piece off right very short piece off here wind up gluing the skewer onto that getting that secure just so there's a flat piece there and that'll be a base and then we'll build off of that do the claws and things out of the legs and claws and all that out of clay get that set up get the tail set up that way this can set Pretty much straight up and down on its own. I'll have a nice flat surface here. We'll be able to use the feet here and then the tail as a balancing point in the back. That's the plan. Anyway, to make that hole right there, and I'm going to do this uh, right here. You're not going to be able to, yeah, you might have a decent camera angle, but I'm just going to eyeball it right here. And I've got this pick. Like if you had an ice pick or something, it would work. This is a, a pick I use from when I worked on cars and motorcycles so you can get into different parts. That opens up a nice little hole and then uh, the next skewer should be able to fit nice and snug. Yeah, like that except Huge legs now. We're going to cut these down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll cut the stuff up. Get these in place. Tack the back on for the tail. Glue these things up. And show you guys that process. We'll probably kind of stop right there. At this point. Because I want the glue to really take hold. Of the bases for the feet and for the tail. That way we can sculpt around this stuff don't have to worry about it falling apart so to get the tail um i put some wood glue on the other side of this cardboard and then i brushed some wood glue onto the back of the armature itself and then i was going to use uh taller thumbtacks then i was going to pull them back out but i had these and i decided you know what if i smash these in and let the glue adhere to it then I can leave these in and then I can put feathers over the top of this as we sculpt this out and actually leave these pins in here and you'll never see them and it'll I think at least I hope it'll hold this tail on for the duration of its life so anyway all I did was glue it tack it in <clears throat> and it's there I had what popsicle sticks cut a little in off of each one each side this is gonna make our flat base um, for the feet and I'm going to wind up um, putting a little glue on here and here and just kind of centering these things up pretty decent and let that set overnight and dry um, after this dries up if I got to pull this tail out a little further so it sets especially when we sculpt our clay on here to set him up a little straighter um, I think it'll work once it dries up, it'll be solid. We're going to pull these skewers back out. I'm going to put some wood glue on the ends of the skewers, put those back in, and then put some wood glue on these, set that, and then just let this set and dry uh, overnight before proceed with the head or anything else. And um, to get the glue on, I'm just taking, I sacrifice a lot of brushes. That's why I buy a lot of cheap, cheap brushes. But I'm just going to brush the wood glue onto the skewer. We'll set a little bit in the hole too. And then just put 
push it in. And this is always the craziest time to see stuff because it's always doesn't look like anything right now right like there's a lot of times I'll post works in project uh, Halloween paper mache or something or whatever and people that don't <clears throat> follow me or don't know me you know it doesn't really look like much but you always got to go through this stage right here right you got to get this stuff set up so that you can sculpt around it and create your end piece that's just going to be really good when it's done. Woo! I almost, those didn't even fall off. Got lucky there. We're going to leave it here for now. I uh, want this stuff to dry up. Wait, it's not falling off. We'll set the head after that. And then we'll start working on um, sculpting these legs out. Because the owl's legs are a little bit thicker on the bottom side. Come down with the feathers. And they got some good talons down here. <clears throat> we'll thicken all this up with either... Uh, wrap it with either newspaper or something. Or maybe it just may be uh, clay. I don't know. We'll figure that out once we get to that point. Like I said before, this isn't a real tutorial. It's just bringing you guys along on the journey of trying to create something that I've never done before. So it's hard for me to build this in a true tutorial way and say this is how you need to do it. I don't know if these ideas are going to work or not. I'm just going with it. But that's how you learn, right? Try something new. Get out of your element. See if it works. Play with it. Go from there. I'm glad you guys are following along uh, through this little process. There's going to be a few more videos to back this one up to finish this thing out. Um, if you want to see how this uh, little owl turns out, follow along on the next video. Not sure exactly when that will be up, but hopefully within a week or so, the next one will be up. I've got to have it done before Christmas, so, you know, uh, surely it will be next week or next few days. There will be some update videos on this thing, and you can see it come along on its way thanks to all you guys that are subscribers and are watching uh it really does it still it amazes me uh, all the new subscribers um, i'm very happy i do that's why i continue to do what i do if it wasn't for you guys watching and uh, being interested and asking questions i'd probably quit making the videos and just do the stuff myself anyway <laughs> Thanks again. If you guys have questions, you know, hit me up below in the comments. I'll answer anything. You guys can find me also over on Facebook, um, Halloween Paper Mache over there. Or you can DM me straight or PM me straight on Facebook if you guys have questions. I try to answer everybody's questions all the time. Um, until the next video on this thing, go make something from nothing.